done this to you. I'm sorry. You rather upset people when you gave the bracelet to the detective. <laughs> <laughs> Collins. He killed Babs and framed Rich. He's my brother. I have no choice but to do everything I can to... No, me. you do have a choice. You're just too far gone to make it. I'm a murder detective. If I was going to kill someone, do you not think I would do a better job than store his head in my freezer? I know you didn't do it. What should I say to Daisy? Nothing. Why don't you come see me tomorrow? Bring Daisy. Let's go! Let's Open the door! Open the door! you are not but that doesn't mean we don't work together I'm not the one who's done this to you and let me go I can't do that but I won't hurt you after all we're family I'm not your family didn't she tell you your mother and my father were lovers no. some 34 years ago bullshit I found this case of photographs after my father died. Have a look. Believe me, Eve, no one wants any harm done to you. You're too valuable and unique. You started all this by giving the bracelet to Clayton. Your father never wanted you to have it. <laughs> he said that you were too unstable. Now, now, Harry, <clears throat> calm down. Please, please, I am begging you, cut off my arm, take the bracelet! I can't. It's joined to you now. That's obvious to me. That was my father's fault. He messed up the handover. Vincent Lermontov was your father? Hmm, my adopted father. The adoption was kept secret, but the boys at the boarding school he sent me to figured it out. Nicknamed me Golding, after Gold Foundling. What do you want? Harry, you have a choice to make. What choice? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to have someone kill Richard. And I'm going to kill Anna and Daisy. Unless you kill yourself. friend here today and then gone again a good time girl when it hurts is nowhere to be found ha, 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 ha. she's laughing in your face when you think that you've got it made be patient with your life now careful with your pride hold tight this could be a wild ride it could be a late night okay who's gonna be the lucky one Come on, Clayton. Good to go, Steve.
slash your throat, you'll blame me. No one's going to believe that Harry Clayton killed himself. I'm the perfect fall guy. You caught me three weeks ago, so... Are you really going to do this? If I don't, they'll bring my brother up from the hospital wing. Kill him. I'll kill my wife. And my daughter. Okay, listen to me. Your brother's not in the hospital wing anymore. They released him last night. I saw it happen. He's gone. Those guards will be back in about ten minutes to check on you. to me. You saved my life. I owe you. Come and help me with it, then. Where does it go? It's a tunnel between B and C wings. They use it to move drugs between remand and the lifers on C wing. It's only going to get you so far, though. You're going to need this. Will it get me out of prison? No, but Sea Wing's got access to the roof. You've got the bracelet. You coming? No, I was never looking. Go. Where's Clayton? Hey, where's Clayton? Where's Clayton? Stop! Move it! Oh, you. Did Clayton go down here? Come with me, give me that! thinking about Hassan and Daisy. Who are secure. And Harry will do everything he can to find them. Can I be frank, sir? Sure. There's a point in every operation when you have to ask if the ends justify the means. And do you think we've reached that point with Clayton? I understand that you have some very personal reasons for needing Clayton dead and for retrieving this bracelet. 
But if we pursue him now, then we are in serious danger of exposing everything that we have all worked so hard to set up. You have one more chance. on his way. He wanted you to just hang out and relax before he got back. Um, when will he be here? He should be here just before lunch. Is there anything you or your daughter don't eat? I'm a gluten-free, lactose intolerant vegan. She's 11. <laughs> um, so I've been trying to get a signal since we got here. Oh, sorry, it's pretty crap around here. Really? In Hampstead? Mm. Well, what about up there in the garden? It's pretty crap everywhere, believe me. Escaped at 9.09 .09 a.m. Apparently, he clung to the underside of a prison van. I want to head up the operation to recapture him. You think he's still east? That's where I'll start. OK, get going. Harry's too smart to do this. He must have tried to kill him in prison. I want you to be Orwell's second. Hey, Jim. How do I play this? Carefully. We have to assume Golding is still chasing Harry as well. This morning, and the public are warned that he is dangerous and not to be approached. Daisy aren't here. Where are they? 
Ruth, it's important you answer the question. Well, a, a car came to pick them up very early this morning. Where was it going? Um, Anna said something about spending the weekend with Nicole. Do you have an address for Nicole? An address? Uh, yes, I, I... Yes, I think I've got something here. Um, hold on a minute. St. Pancras Hotel, WC1. Thanks, Ruth. The police will be on their way to you. Say nothing about this conversation. Suspect sighted leaving St. Anne's Church on Bethnal Green Road. Suspect now running down Buxton Road. DI all well to DS Clark, we're on Buxton Road, Bethnal Green. What is your current location, over? Two minutes away from you. He's definitely in this area. Repeat, he's definitely here. Suspect continuing west on Buxton Road. You should have eyes on the suspect soon. Everyone one out. Anna? Why is this door locked? For security reasons. Is there something you need? I just want to go to the high street and get a few things. Well, why don't you tell me what it is you need, and I'll send someone to fetch it for you. I'd rather get them myself. Why won't you open this door? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Are we not allowed out of this house? I promise you, Nicole will be back here very soon. He'll explain everything to you then. What are you talking about? There's been some trouble at the prison. That's why he's delayed. Now, why don't you go back and join your daughter? You don't want to cause her any unnecessary distress, do you? No. Sighting for Clay in the St. Pancras station. From DS Chairman, all received. Housekeeping. Housekeeping.
Chohan. Clark, am I right in saying that Anna Clayton's mother's just reported Anna and Daisy missing? Yes, sir. We've got a team over there now. Apparently, she was held at gunpoint and forced to give an address for them over the phone to Harry. What for? I don't know, but the address she gave was Governor Julian's flat here in St Pancras. Apparently, Anna Clayton and him are seeing each other. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Right, I want you to email a photograph of Charles Collins to Anna's mother. See if she can identify him as the gunman. Yes, sir. We need to figure out who this is and why Harry came in to kill him. There are other ways this could have played out. Sir, got a witness here who saw Harry throw the victim off the balcony. They're waiting for you outside. I know. Said you'd escaped. Told them you wouldn't be stupid enough to come here, but uh, guess I was wrong. I am so sorry. Really? It should have been me. <laughs> Would have made more sense. They killed. Barbara, hurry. They murdered her. And then they got me, and they jumped up and down in my arm, over and over until it kept breaking. Doctor said I was lucky that they could reset it. Rich, I badly need your help. <laughs> We're done. No. You're toxic. Everything close to you gets destroyed. There's me, there's Mom, there's Francis. And yet nothing ever happens to Harry, does it? Rich, don't do this. No, nothing ever happens to Harry. I don't want you in my life anymore. No. OK? No. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and then I'm going to call you in. I can't risk not doing everything by the book now because of you. They probably saw you Because Anna and Daisy. What? Julian has Daisy. Julian? Governor Julian is Golding. I have to find them. Collins is dead. 
I think he came after Harry, and now he's dead. You're absolutely sure it's him? Yes, sir. Orwell hasn't ID'd him yet, but it's just a matter of time. Are you still at the crime scene? Yes, sir. Right, you need to leave there now. What do I say to Orwell? Nothing, just leave. Sir? Anna and Daisy Clayton have been abducted. Her signal was lost somewhere on Hampstead Lane. I'm coming to get you. Now, don't say anything to Orwell. Handle this, please. Hey. Hey. Where the hell are you going? I have to help the super. You don't just march away from my team without my permission. It's Winter's orders. Sorry. Why? He needs backup. We're about to question Chris. Where did the tip-off on Becca's body come from? You never filed it. I have a manhunt to run. He was your brother. Adopted. How could Vincent let him kill my mother? Why would he let that happen? If she was a torch, if he loved her so much. Because my father loved him more. Are you going to do this willingly? Or are we going to have to use other means? Cooperate. Good. Now come with me. What the hell's going on? So why should we be getting prisoner here? It's for your own protection. Harry has escaped from White Cross. What? Harry would never hurt us. You don't know Harry anymore. He's psychologically unhinged. He's already killed a man who tried to capture him. I'm sorry, I don't believe that for a second. Anyway, it doesn't explain why all the doors are locked and Mrs. Danvers won't let anyone out of the house. I'm just taking precautions. Why did you pay for my firm to take on Kevin Gray's case? And ask for me specifically to represent him? You're a very smart woman, Anna. Did Harry ever really appreciate you? Who the hell are you? I'm the man you betrayed Harry for. I'm also the man you've been looking for in White Cross. Come on, Daisy, we have to go right now. What's going on, Mum? Come on, we're going to take a bus home. Come, come with me. We're walking to the high street. We're going to catch a bus. Come on. Let's go outside, Daisy. Daisy. Ma! Daisy. Ma! Ma! You bitch, Daisy! Ma! No, Daisy, let me go! Ma! Daisy! 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 Detective Clayton, I told you on the intercom Mr. Lermontov wasn't in. I didn't believe you. Where are they?
think she started all this back with Kevin Gray, just to get to me. Miss Nathan on this too. He's just someone I've run into a few times. A businessman. But you planned to get inside my life like this from the beginning. I thought it was a wonderful romance. You're insane. I don't understand what you could possibly hope to gain. This is all about Harry. Harry has stolen something from me. And I want it back. He owes you money. If only it were that simple. Are you a religious woman, Anna? You see, all the wars in this world are not fought over money or material things. They are all fought over belief. More specifically, the primacy of one man's belief over another man's. Harry has stolen my right to believe. How did you fall for such a broken, worthless gambler? I can't possibly imagine. Your brother called. He's on his way. Good. Harry won't be far behind. Get them ready. When I killed your mother, I was young, naive. Didn't really understand how much trouble it would cause me later. I will never put that bracelet on you. Whatever our father might have told you in those last days, he didn't want it to end like this. Vincent didn't want you near the bracelet. That's why he always kept you secret. <laughs> Ashton House is registered to Lermontov Industries. If Golding has Anna and Daisy there, they could be hidden anywhere. Detective Superintendent Winter to AR-19. We're five minutes from Ashton House. What's your ETA? ETA, Ashton House, ten minutes. House. Next left, sir.
Please, the cop. Please, please. please. Harry will be here soon. Give me the key. Please, the cop. Please. Please let her go. Please. Please let her go. Harry. Almost done. Harry, it's okay. It's okay. I believe you. And I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Okay. Now, Harry, get down! Master, stay with us. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go, I've got this. Officer Dow, shot to the chest. Hems required. Truth is, Harry, I'm scared to fire this at you. I mean, who knows what would happen if I did? Even though I am a crack shot, I'd probably miss you by an inch, bounce off the floor, and end up in my gullet. Or worse, a gun could explode in my face. Please, let them go. I'll do whatever you want. No, you won't. Or haven't you figured that out yet? What? The bracelet won't let you. It protects your life in every way that it can. It influences your choices. It is the ultimate survivor. That's why Dad chose the highest building in London and why you are going to put this gun in your mouth and pull the trigger. Then I'll let him live. Please, just give me the key! You're running out of time to save her, Harry. Put it in your mouth and pull the trigger! Okay. Do it!
Okay. Wow, we've loved every moment of Stanley's lucky man, and we know that you have too. Thanks so much for all the messages you've sent during the series. And our luck must be in because we'll be getting a brand new series next year. Get that? So make sure you add that to your planner now. Who's gonna be the lucky one?